I was tired of not having a ranked duo, so I coached my nephew to hitting Radiant with me. This was our reaction when he finally hit it. I got the MVP. Let's go! Let's go! As you can see, it was a pretty hype moment, along with a proud uncle moment too. To put it in perspective, this is his first mouse and keyboard game, and with my guidance, he went from plat 1 all the way to immortal in just one act. He's gotten so good, he's at the point where even professionals think he's smurfing. You die? Fear my Glock is probably smurfing. And I know what some of you nerd neck trolls may be thinking right about now. Hiko's retired. Me 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 me. So to dispel that notion before it even forms, here's my nephew, Fear my Glock, carrying and bodying tier one franchise pro players. I'm so sorry. Game Ica, one Ica. On top of the box. Nice. One more short, maybe. Ica, Ica. Ica. I'm so sorry. One close short on the box. Chamber close. Wanuka, short. Wanuka. On top of the box. Nice. One more short, maybe. Hookah race. Might jump out. 50 on hookah race. 50 on oh hookah race. God. Wait, I want this ace. There it is. Everybody f oh, off. Right. I'm willing to throw for this ace. Where are you? As you should, King. There he is. I'm not smoking then. Go ahead. Oh. My. Whoa, whoa. I'm not smoking then. Go ahead. Man. Oh, nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a clip of him carrying pro players. So now here's a clip of him going against NRG, SOM, and FNS and breaking their ankles. This next clip is him carrying me as we 2v4 Cryo and his duo, who are arguably the best duo in NA ranked. We ended up winning 13-3 by the way. Rock the this no, hurt. Right here, right here. Oh, triple, triple, triple one. Oh, oh, good time time no! <laughs> Get his dumbass. Holy oh, shit, Shroud. Dude is pretty much a phenom now. To be fair though, he deserves a large portion of the credit because he did grind and practice to get this good. Just look at this guy's deathmatch history. This dude won like 20 dust matches in a row, which is extra impressive. I just nudged him in the right direction and optimized his aiming and movement regimen. Tweaked out a sense a bit and he did the rest. Oh! oh. Oh my god. That's a clip. That's a clip. That was dirt. He pretty much built his aim on his own. But aim is only one piece of the puzzle, and it's a pretty small one in my opinion. The difference between pros and your average Joes in Valorant come down to things like decision making, positioning, team play, movement, stuff like that. And that's where I came in. <laughs> you see that? Uh, you see that? Dude. I just helped mold his game sense and decision making. It wasn't even traditional coaching sessions either. We just duoed and I corrected his mistakes as we went. Nice. Oh it's my God, nice. I did throw him into the wolves den though. It was like a sink or swim type of thing. I consistently forced him on higher elo accounts. I could tell that he had the aim to hang so it didn't take him long to adapt. He's going across like danger side. Nice. Oh my. That was crazy. That was crazy. First we plugged him in on the controller roll. Low responsibility, low stakes, just to get his reps in against better players. After he got his feet wet and knew he could belong, we started moving on to higher impact agents till he gained confidence on all fronts. It was pretty much like Avatar The Last Airbender training. We wouldn't move on past the roll until he mastered the last element that he was on. And boy did he master them. Plus me. There's plenty of time. 
Oh, what? Oh my god. god. Oh, you're insane, no. bro. Good nice. shit, bro. That was nice. That you're was good. cheating, bro. The second I saw that 1v4 clutch against full radiance, I instantly knew that he mastered the controller role. So we moved him on to tackle the initiator role. Oh, oh, another one, another one. Oh, 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 let him cook. I'm, I'm blinded. Oh, oh, let me find him. Let me find him. Oh, oh my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Safe to say, he passed with flying colors. Just watch what he tries to do at the end of this 1v3 clutch. One bullet. Two bullets, two bullets. From there, we moved on to the Sentinel role where he learned how to work and read the map. He learned how to probe for picks and take advantage of the ripple effects a good lurk can cause. He's out picking on Oh shit. This guy's playing on the ult. That's spawn. Oh, nice! Fear my block. Thank God. From this role, he also learned the value of patience and trigger discipline. How to take a risk in salvage rounds. How to turn grapes to wine, essentially. Wait, hold on, 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 hold on. That clip was as clean as it was zesty. Anyways, from there, we finally tackled the main character role, the duelist role. You're actually a oh, duelist god. You're god. <laughs> a lot of people find this role intimidating because duelist is the most critiqued and ostracized role in Valorant. And that's because people are dumb. People are way too quick to flame in duelist when their stats aren't the best, even if they're doing their job perfectly. And because of that, there's always this looming expectation and responsibility to play like tens or like Durke every game, which is an extremely counterproductive mindset. It's not wrong to play like them, don't get me wrong, but you gotta work your way up there. Watch for booty. Watch, there's one more. Watch out. Once you understand how to have impact on the duelist role and how to channel your aggression with a purpose, that's when you start getting comfortable with taking over. He followed that advice and now he's playing like the main character in an anime. Nice. I think you just go beast. Where was that now? I, I, I don't, don't know. know. He's killed me to the wall. That's uh, a. Wait, what's happening back there? Ooh. I don't oh. know. He's just killing them all. He's taking over. Okay. What the hell? Good shit, Glock. Now that he mastered all the four elements of Valorant, and he's the gaming avatar now, dude has a confidence to 1v5 clutch like the best of them. Let me work, let me work. I got scaled. Hmm. Gonna be dumbass. All the way on he's, gonna, he's gonna be back. 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 You're so good. Let me work. Let me work. For the last round. Now that you guys are caught up and know how we got here, let's rewind back to when he finally got the big yellow rank. Hopefully, now you can understand how hyped this moment really was. The fruits of our labors. Us locking in a core memory of both of us reaching top 500 in Valorant at the same time. Heaven so. George is taking us to the. He's going CT. Go, pick off, pick off me, pick off me, pick off me. Yep. 
He might have. He could have TP'd somewhere, right? No, no, oh. he doesn't have it. I can hear the double thing right. Three, two, one, go. Let's go! You see the fucking Let's fucking go, Joe! You're fucking. Let's go! Okay. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! That guy that helped that was long? Dude, you destroyed him. Your movement's so good. Let's go, dude! Let's go!